Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Kev's Movie Corner. I'm Kev, and this week we are talking about American Graffiti. American Graffiti was released in 1973, um, written and directed by George Lucas, um, also written by Gloria Katz and Willard Huck. Um, it's about a group of teenagers who have just graduated high school and uh, kind of go out for one final hoorah before they um, go off to college or whatever's next uh, in their lives. Um it stars, uh, it's got a pretty good cast, Richard Dreyfus, Ron Howard, um, uh, play the two, two of the more main characters, um, Cindy Williams, uh, Mackenzie Phillips, uh, Wolfman Jack is in there as well, playing a disc jockey, um, Paul Lamatt, uh, and Charles Martin Smith, um, so there's, there's a, and Harrison Ford's in it as well, um, he's got kind of a, side-ish role. I mean, he's he's probably he's a pretty big name um, nowadays, and I don't know if he was back then. But uh, this was this was an early role for a lot of these guys. Um, it seems like so they were all relatively young, high school high school aged in this in this film. Um, uh, it's based in 1962, so if you like that type of music, it's it's there's a lot of good music in it, um, a lot of kind of sock hop type, just um, fun 50s, 60s type music, which is a lot of, I, I did enjoy the music a lot. Um, and uh, the, the movie in general was just, it was just, it's kind of like a teen... Um, it's what would now be kind of like a teen comedy type thing. Um, but it's, it's, it is a, it is a lot of fun. Um, just the names in it make it a big, a big thing, which nowadays, if you had a teen comedy, you know, you, you would probably have names in it that would end up being big down the line as well. Um, I, I would recommend watching this film for sure. Um, I think it is a lot of, um, I think it's a lot of fun, um, and it's just something that's good to watch. I, you know, this was, I think, one of George Lurkus's, um, early films. I know it was an early film. Um, I want to see, though, how, how far to the first one this was because I know this was pretty early in his career um so not super early but relatively early I mean you know that's uh his first movie came out in 1965 this was 1973 so I guess that's almost 10 years but it's it's also you know four years before the first Star Wars movie came out which was you know Probably one of his most well-known, uh, well, for sure, probably one of his most well-known, um, franchises or films in general, but it is a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of iconic, uh, well, I wouldn't, I guess a, a lot of is, is, is a big word. One iconic piece is in it is, uh, Mel's drive-in, which is a pretty big, um, thing. It, it, it plays a big, pretty good part in this movie as well. Um, that's a pretty, you know, well-known, um, place if you're a fan of this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, uh, as far as, um, it's been around, like I said, for, since the seventies, um, AFI has it in, let me see here, where's, where's the spot that it was on here? As you can tell, I'm not very prepared. Uh, that's a pretty common thing with me, unfortunately, sometimes for these things. Um, 65. Wrong. That's wrong. Hold on. 62. 
62 on the list. Um, and we're going off of the 10 year anniversary list. So, um, they originally did the hundred years, hundred movies in the nineties, I believe. And then they came out in 97. They did the original list, and then they came out with it again in 2007. So on the original list, it was actually 15 spots lower. So it moved up a lot. Um, a lot in uh, that 10 years on this list. So there's different different things. It was uh, 77 originally. It's now 62 the last time they released this list. So um, I would recommend watching it. Um, some of these on here... Meh, but uh, this one I I for sure liked. Um, again, like I said, it's it's kind of a teen comedy type thing, but it's not it's not over the top crazy. It's got it's got funny parts. It's got some drama, a little bit of drama, um, and it's got some just kind of nice stories about you know growing up and what you're gonna do, what you gonna what you're gonna do as you grow up, like how how. Sometimes that can be a difficult thing for people to deal with. So, um, yeah. I would probably put it higher on this list. Because there's a few movies that I have seen on here that I would put it below, that I would put below it. But, you know, that's just me. So, anyway, hope you guys, um, hope you guys enjoy doing these. I, I like doing these just because it's... Something for me to talk about, and uh, I like watching movies, so hopefully you guys enjoy watching the movies. Um, I know for a fact that my dad does not listen to these because he doesn't like movies, or he doesn't, he doesn't like these types of movies, so, you know, and and not everybody does, but hopefully you guys enjoy doing this. Um, we're going to keep doing it. It doesn't do well on the, on, the, on the list of things, but, you know, maybe that'll change over time as I get better at talking because... Uh, Anybody can tell that this is not this is not well done. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you next week. We're going to have Nikki on with us. We're going to be watching a uh, an animated movie from the nineties called the I think it's from the nineties called The Prince of Egypt, um, which also has some big uh, names in it. So. Yep, from 1998. So if you want to watch that with us, um, watch it, and we'll have her on next week to, to talk about that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.